Hey guys, so welcome to March's Mail Call. If you're not familiar with Mail Call, it is a monthly theme that I provide and people send in cards and then I show them at the beginning of the following month. So this that I'm going to show you today is Mar for March. It is only going to go till April and then May and then I'm going to no longer do Mail Call. Um, it doesn't mean it'll never come back. I'm just taking a break. <laughs> um, so the participation has kind of gone down. So keeping my P.O. box open, little participation, it's kind of, you know, um, I'm just trying to do what's best for me at this time. But as my channel grows, I may decide to bring it back. I will be doing something new, though, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll probably share that the last month I do mail call, which will be the beginning of June because I'll be showing May cards. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys will enjoy that. Um, so for March's theme, it was humorous images and or sentiments. So that is what I'm going to show you right now. However, first I want to show some cards I got. They have nothing to do with mail call, but I got them in the mail and I wanted to share them anyway because it may give you an idea for a card. So I got a thank you card from Jeannie. She won the peel offs. From Love from Lizzie when she was doing the giveaway. She won the peel offs in from my channel. And so she made me this lovely card using some Love from Lizzie items. This is from Stampin' Up. I love this die so much. It's one of my favorites. I don't have it, but if it carries over, I may get it. <laughs> so thank you for that, Jeannie. That really means a lot. I also got a card from my lovely friend Jude. She heard about my hand issue and she sent me a thanking of you card with these beautiful butterflies. Love it. Thank you, Jude, for that and your note. It is always appreciated. It means a lot. I also got a card and some gifts from Martha. She sent this adorable, sweet little card with the kitty saying hi and a nice note. And she sent me these items that she received in a mystery box, but had no use for it. So she is passing them along. I'll show you them real quick. Really pretty. This is a memory box glowing candle frame. Really nice for Christmas. Then I have some Gina K sunflowers. Gina K designs. So these are cool. Ooh. So there is a nice sunflower stamp set, buildable. And then you have the dies. And then, oh, this is foil. Yes. Graphic sunflowers, 10 sheets. So it's these, and you run them um, with foil. And you can use these dies to cut them out, as well as these, I'm pretty sure. I have butterflies, I think, of this. Have yet to use them, but this will be nice to try out. So thank you so much for that, Martha, and thank you for the card. Oh, wait, no, I have a couple other things. This right here. So this is the Creativation Tonic Sample. I'm assuming this is some 3D project, and then you have your panels that you use to put it together and to decorate it. So that'll be kind of cool to see what that looks like put together. So thank you for that, Martha. That's and extremely kind. No need to send me anything. <laughs> but um, it, it, it means a lot. I know it's, it's, it's very special to me. All right, last month's theme was Sparkle and Shine. And Kat sent me some cards. They didn't get to me in time. So I am showing them before we get to March's theme. So again, the theme was Sparkle and Shine. And here are her cards. Really pretty. And she also has a coordinating envelope. Move these out of the way. Um, well, an envelope that has the coordinating washi tape. So let's see. The background paper is from Gal Meets Glam, 6x6 six six stack by My Mind's Eye. Butterflies are from Jen Hatfield, Hatfield by American Crafts. Patio Party Ephemera. Hello Die is from Recollections. She used Glitter Pen, the Zig. Wink Estella in clear, and the gold glitter is by Wow by American Crafts. So, really pretty. And I love the just touch of washi tape to coordinate with the envelope. Or to put on the envelope to coordinate with the card. Hello. 
Here is this envelope and here is this one. So cute. Sparkle and shine, you are tough as nails. Do I want this stamp set? I keep every time I see it, I'm like, it's so cute. So the plaid pattern background is from a six by six paper stack, Gal Meets Glam, again, like the last one, uh, by my mind's eye. The stamps and dies are unbranded. I do believe Honeybee, is that who does this? It has a stamp set like that? The gold, hot pink, and purple glitter pens are from Spectrum Noir. Really cute. That's adorable. Then we have this one. Just thank you. You're the best. So the thank you die is Sizzix Framelits Drop-Ins by Stephanie Bernard. Floral paper from Jen Hatfield. Um, the patio paper. Paper stack. Nouveau crystal drops of dandelion yellow. And the blue blue gems are unbranded and the yellow glitter is recollections. So really cute. And then this one that is just all sparkles. So pretty. <laughs> Look at that. So let's see. Is there a sentiment inside? Nope. Um, if this is a 5x7 card, which I think is a lot of fun sometimes to make. It allows you more room to use more product, which can be fun sometimes. So, the love dye is Recollections. The striped background paper is Tim Holtz Ideology. Deco sheets, the heart dye is Unbranded. The red glitter paper is from Martha Stewart. And the silver paper is from DCWV. So, really pretty. Like Okay, so moving on to this month again, humorous images and or sentiments. This is Kat's cards for this month. Oh my gosh. She said she had a lot of fun making these cards. The theme was a lot of fun. So let's look at this one. First of all, look at this envelope. Look at that paper. That is adorable. You make me happier than Taco Tuesday. Oh my gosh. So she used a wobbler. Isn't that adorable? So all stamp, all paper is by DCWV. All stamps set, uh, stamps by The Ink Road. Tacos colored with Spectrum Noir and Copic with black soot distress ink splatters. How cute is that? That is adorable. And then for her next card, we have this one. Oh, look at that washi tape. That's precious. There has never been a sadness that can't be cured by breakfast food. Give me all the bacon and eggs that you have. <laughs> that is cute. Fried egg and blue paper from Good Eats stacked by DCWV. This is adorable. Twine by the Paper Studio. All stamps by the Ink Road. Nouveau glitter drops in Yellow Bird. And Nouveau crystal drops in Duck Egg Blue. So cute. And I love that washi tape. That's sweet. And then next we have this one with that washi tape. I'm going out to get ice cream or commit a felony. I'll decide in the car. <laughs> and then you open it. Oh my gosh. Treat yourself. That is so cute. Adorable. So paper again from Good Eats by DCWV. All stamps by the Ink Road, so they're her favorites. Nouveau Crystal Drops in Rhubarb Crumble and Bottle Green and White Embossing Powder is by Recollections. So cute. And then this one is really funny. What the fudge? <laughs> There's me. <laughs> Coffee in my phone in my face. So, let's see. It says, frankly, autocorrect, I'm getting tired of your shirt. Oh, that's funny. Um, I'm going to have to check. I know of Ink Road stamps. I follow her on Instagram. And I know she has some pretty funny stamps. So I'll have to take a closer look. So, these stamps are by Ink Road as well. The Nouveau Crystal Drops in Dandelion Yellow Watercolor Pencils by Hero. And the paper is unknown. Next card we have is from Nikki. 
And she says, yay, let's celebrate. Growing old is mandatory. Growing up is optional. That's cute. Really pretty simple card. Next we have cards from Pamela. Pamela, I got your letter. I'm going, I've skimmed it, but I want to read it. Sit down and read it and um, I will get back to you. But here are her cards. And I will send these cards back. I do have your self-addressed envelope. Um, if you do include a self-addressed envelope with a stamp, I will send the cards back. So here is her first one. Just adorable. Here, kitty kitty. These were made with doodlebug stickers and paper. I actually have this collection. This stamp, I think it's a Stampin' Up! stamp. I think I have the stamp set. I don't remember. But so cute. Love this collection. Really cute. And then her other card is this one. This, I believe she sent this one to her friend. But just remember, once over the hill, you begin to pick up speed. Oh, okay. It says, I made several cards and gave them to my friend. I was surprised when she sent me one of my own handmade cards. That's funny. So she made this for her friend and her friend sent it back. And it says... And she gave me permission to read it. It says, Dear Pamela, I laughed when I saw this card that you made. It serves you right that I'm sending it to you even though you're younger than me. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy Valentine's. Happy birthday. That's funny. Very cute. Next, I have some cards from Kate. Kate, I also have your cards for next month. I will be, I have put aside. So first we have this one. Here is the envelope. She has little waves with little fish. And then this sweet one. How old are you? Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday. So precious. And she also sent me this right here, which is so cute. This little pen with a flamingo. That's adorable. And then here is a card. And I did my question Q&A video with this card, if you haven't, or this stamp set, if you haven't checked it out. It's a beautiful stamp set with a no. But she also sent me this cute little thing. She loves otters, if I couldn't tell. And these are so cute. Oh my gosh, look how sweet. A little fish. So just really cute to add these to my sticker collection. These are adorable. So thank you for that, Kate. My next card is from Cindy. I have your card for May. I'm going to save and show at the right time. She said her, her humorous card is not too funny, but cute. <laughs> so let's go and open this. Love the type of fold in this card with the belly band. That's cute. What's the word? I love this fold. I really need to do do some special cool folds. I think I think a lot of people would like that. I feel like, uh, although I'm enjoying still my channel, I feel that sometimes it becomes a little stagnant with the same thing. So I'm going to have to look into these folds, but I love that. And I love how like the doors are decorated and you have that little die cut to peek through the inside. Very cute. Next, I have some cards from Christy and I want to show her envelope. Look at this. Christy, if you are watching, can you please let me know where you got these stamps? I found a website. Oh my gosh. I found a website that sells the Peanuts stamp sets. They're very expensive. <laughs> I'm wondering if you got them from that place because they had a ton. But let me know if you remember or are watching. I would love to like get that stamp set. That's just precious. So cute. So she sent these two adorable cards with matching envelopes. Here is the first one. Love that. And here is the stamp, uh, the card. It says, I'm a stampaholic on the road to recovery. Just kidding. I'm on the road to the stamp store. <laughs> That's cute. That is adorable. So the background created with Crafting Forever by Stampin' Up. That's my thought. I have that stamp set. It's a great stamp set. And the pencil is from an unnamed Studio G set purchased at Joann's. The lady 
is a retired set from Stampin' Up! called Just Kidding, and the sentiment is from Two Lips Stamps. That is adorable. Love that. And then her other card, here is the envelope. Again, so I know of this, but I never do it, but attaching coordinating paper to the flap of the envelope. Very cool. Here is this card. Rough day. A little tag. Learn a lesson from your dog. No matter what life brings you, kick some grass over that crap and move on. Oh my gosh. That's a wonderful saying. <laughs> Paper is from Doodlebug Puppy Love. Dog stamp is from Tim Holtz. The version sold at Michael's with stamps, dies, and embossing folder. The tag on the front, it was just a random chipboard sticker from my stash. And the inside sentiment is from Funny Bones by Riley and Company. So that is cute. And I love that inside sentiment. Oh, and thank you for the note, Christy. I always save my notes. So if you send one, I have a box that it goes into. Okay, I have cards from Joan. And also a gift from Joan that I can't wait to share with you. I practically squealed when I opened it. So I'll show you what it is. Come in this adorable squirrel package. By the way, Joan, I already ate the M&Ms you sent me. <laughs> That's what, usually I don't open any of the mail until I'm about ready to shoot the video. Um, and I heard like this rattling in her package and Joan has always added candy to her packages. So, um, and Joan comes from Denmark. So I was like, ooh, I hear candy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And I, I did. And then I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh. And so I opened the package. I ate the M&Ms and then I'm really excited to show you, you this stuff. So here are some dimensional strips. Are these in black? They, they look like they're in black. Well, I mean, I can see black, but I'm assuming once you peel the strip off, it's black. So these are great. These will always come in handy. So thank you for that. Look at these two stamp sets. First of all, she sent me this one which I had done the video with the mushroom dye and I talked about how, you know, I really wanted this, but I already had a, a gnome stamp set, so I was gonna hold off. And she sent it to me, so this was just beyond kind. So this is the O gnome. So I'm gonna, I wanna use this stamp set, so I'm gonna come back. I don't know if I'll use the dye again, but I may bring the dye back and make another card, um, do something different so I can use the stamp set. But that is just so sweet, that was, beyond kind and then she also sent me this precious kittyology stamp set oh my gosh i love that cat that is so sweet and look at those glasses that is adorable thank you so much for that that was really really sweet all right for joan's cards here is a card that she sent me with the note inside isn't that cute? Sometimes I open my mouth and my mother comes out. <laughs> I've been guilty of that. <laughs> so cute. I'll add this to my shelf of cards. Thank you for that, Joan. And here are the cards she submitted for the theme. So we have matching envelopes. I know this stamp set. It's adorable. So the love from the papers from the love from lizzie january kit the dye is sizzix thinlets point splats and this is whimsy stamps ginger snaps i actually considered getting this stamp set from whimsy stamps because it is so cute it's really funny so it's a sick and tired of being sweet all the time poor guy look at that face <laughs> that is so cute love the corrugated um, piece down here love that the next one here's the envelope is morning has broken mr. coffee has spoken morning is broken mr. coffee has spoken there we go so the paper is also left from Lizzie the daily grind so this paper is left from Lizzie this is the daily grind the daily grinds but first coffee again ginger snaps is the stamp by whimsy stamps and she colored it with zig markers oops love that so stinking cute here's another one with the ginger snaps here's your envelope look at that face <laughs> that is funny sorry i snapped at you so the paper is the uh 
But first, Coffee by The Daily Grind. The Sizzic Dye, again, Paint Splats. And the stamp set is The Ginger Snaps by Whimsy. So funny. This one. Have an expressly great day. This is cute, too. Listen, before I had my coffee, I didn't know how awesome I was going to be today, either. <laughs> then we have a little coffee in here. So the paper is from her stash. The uh, same collection by the Daily Grind, but first coffee is what the collection's called. The stamp is from Whimsy Stamps, Espressoly Great, and she colored it using Zig markers. That is so cute. So cute. That is a Love from Lizzie stamp as well. And then finally, she sent this one in. These funny little monsters. So, Very Beast Friends. So, let's see. The paper is Love from Lizzie. The stamp is from, is that All in Create? Designed by Olga Hedwin, and she colored it using Zig markers. So, really cute. Those monsters are cute. I like the bow dye. And then the clouds. Really cute. <laughs> That's funny. So, thank you for the cards, Joan. Thank you for the gifts. And then finally, we have Ada's package. She sent cards in this box. So I'm going to take them. Okay, as always, Ada sends in these beautiful cards with this elaborate presentation. It's really gorgeous and a ton of work. They're just gorgeous. So I like to show the packaging first, and then I will open them all and show you the cards. So first, we have this one. And if you're not familiar with Ada's... All right, so here is the first one from Ada. And my camera died, and then I had to charge it, so I don't even know where I left off. But um, it comes with a, a Velcro closure, and she always decorates the top. So there's that one, and I'll open these after we go through the packaging. The packaging is so pretty to not feature it. Really pretty. And this one, I think I have the stamp set. It's so cute with the cats. These are art impressions. Oops, sorry, thought I silenced my phone. But art impressions stamp sets, which are always really funny. So I'll go ahead and open all of these and then we'll look at the cards. Before we get to the cards, I forgot this was sitting off to my side. She made this adorable purse card holder. Oh my gosh, look at all that detail. Isn't this adorable? And then inside, oops, are the cards. So I don't want to ruin anything. So you have the belly band to keep them together. Okay, they're all different. So let me go through them really quick. Make sure there's nothing inside. Of course, there's all these cute sentiments inside. Let's see. Okay, so we'll go through them real quick. Here's a person on a scale. How does a two pound box of chocolate end up as 10 pounds in, on the hips? True that. Happy New You. Aw, Jim Bunny. <laughs> Donut and cupcake. A balanced diet is having one in each hand. This one. If you don't cut the cake, then you only had one piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Relax. On your special day. I like this stamp. Uh, um, Stampin' Up! has a similar stamp to a lady in a tub. Oh, Chase your dreams. Sweet pup. And then envelopes. But isn't that a cute, adorable with the belly band? And then here's the last look at the purse. That is precious. Oh, she wrote um, what she used. So let me read that real quick. So purse card holder inspired by Joan's backpack. Oh, if you saw last month, Joan made a little backpack. I think it was last month, Joan made a backpack. I'll include that card making um, mail call up here at the top if you want to check that out. 
Purse die used by Our Daily Bread, Timeless Tales. Card set was uh, paper by DCWV. Stamps used are Creative Stamping Magazine, issue 66. Um, it's one of those magazines that has the stamps included in it. You can get it at Joann's or um, maybe Michael's. Uh, Barnes and Noble, stuff like that. Dyes used, LDRS, Spellbinders, and Sizzix. Embossing powder used is Recollections Gold. Okay, for the first card, whoops, we have this one. There's the packaging. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Here's the envelope. Really pretty. Got style? I'm not a shopaholic. I'm helping the economy. Whoever says money can't buy happiness doesn't know where to shop. <laughs> So this is paper. The paper is Fastinista, pff, hello, Fastinista by Echo Park. Stamps and inside sentiment are by Dewcrafts, Born to Shop. And front sentiment is by Art Impressions. Love the flowers. Those look like um, Prima flowers or flowers you can get at like Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has a, they have Prima flowers as well. But they also have a great selection of paper flowers. If you are looking for some. Um, I'm sure Michael's does too. I always notice them more at Hobby Lobby. So for this one here is the envelope. Very pretty. And then make sure there's no paper in it. So it says happy birthday. Let's face it aging is a pain in the rear. I like that she did a wobbler on the inside that's very different. That is cute. I'm assuming this would be an Art Impressions stamp set. That does look like their, their style. Love that. Love like the dusty, dusty purple. Here's the next one. There's the packaging. Here is the envelope. Very pretty. You've cat to be kitten me right meow. <laughs> Here's the inside. I think I have that stamp set. Did I already say that? It's so cute. Paper is by the Paper Studio. It's called Ter Terrace Blooms. S yes, stamp and sentiments are by Art Impressions, Crazy Cat Lady, and dyes are by Spellbinders. Adorable. Art Impressions has some of the best stamp sets. They're a little pricey, but they're adorable. And then here we have the envelope. Get well soon. We can't cover your back forever. That's what that's why they call it C I can't read. That's why they call it I see you. <laughs> There's a little bum hanging out. Sending a little laughter, it's the best medicine. And I like this insert. It's funny because cards at the store will have that, so it just creates a little bit extra um, stability, especially. But just a little extra fanciness. So the um, stamp set is Art Impressions. The Flourish die is by Sizzix. The Small Label die by LDRS. And then the rectangular die is by Elizabeth Crafts. Embossing folder by Cuddlebug called Kitchen Weave. <laughs> Love the arrow pointing to the, the bum. <laughs> That's cute. And then finally we have this one. Here is the envelope. I've had quite enough of your BS being sick. Happy pills, chill pills. And then this is one of those fun folds. Get well soon. And then she crossed it out and put now. So that is, see if I could do this right. Let's see. So this is in the back. Is this how it goes, Ada? This is back here. So I'm assuming it props this up and then this sits here. I'm a, am I in frame? So is that how it stands? I hope so. But really cute. Love that. Again, I really need to do some fun fold cards. They're so much fun. And I just get a lot of inspiration from Ada. So cute. 
So that is it for this month's cards. A great selection of cards. This video is probably going to be 30 minutes long. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you for everyone that has sent cards in. If you are interested in sending cards in, next month's theme is Get Well. Um, all the information will be below in the description box if you're interested, including my P.O. box. Remember, May is the last month, and then June 1st, my P.O. box will be closed. So make sure that whatever you send in, especially for May, that you send it in early. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, information will be below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much to everyone that sent a card in, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.